Now to the race for the presidency, Hillary Clinton's running mate Tim Kaine calling Florida a checkmate state. If she can win here, it's game over. She wins the White House. But some brand new polls just out show Donald Trump's campaign may be gaining some steam. A new Bloomberg poll puts Trump on top in Florida, not by much, only three points, but still, he's ahead. A new Fox National poll shows Clinton's lead shrinking, down to only three points, half of what it was just last week. I don't pay attention to polls when they're good, and I don't pay attention to them when they're bad. I really don't. And I know people tell you that, but it's really true for me. I don't pay attention. My view is you got to get up every day. You've got to work as hard as you can. You've got to have your campaign hitting on all cylinders. Wednesday, the Trump campaign taking a slight detour to Pennsylvania Avenue, not to measure the drapes at the White House, but instead for a ribbon cutting at a new Trump hotel just down the street. Trump says he can do for the country what he's done for his businesses, but... Bookings are off uh, at some of his properties. He's lowering rates because they're just not getting the traffic they should get. The biggest traffic of the day, the lines of protesters outside. A scene that replayed itself later when Trump was back on the trail in North Carolina. You know the great thing about that? We have a protester. By the way, were you paid $1,500 to be a thug? Where's the protester? Where is he? Was he paid? Somebody's going to have to pay for this, a vandal taking wax at Trump's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Another ugly moment in a campaign season full of them. And today we learned that this is where Hillary Clinton will be spending election night under the giant glass ceiling of the Jacob Javits Center in New York. No confusion over what she's hoping her message will be that night.